What may initially look like a stretch of highway on your way to the beach or to cross the Bay Bridge is so much more. You look around the scenery, the water, the boats, the bridges, the seafood, the excellent places to go and visit. And although a highway runs through it, it's the waterway that draws those who know to one of the peninsula's most scenic and captivating spots. Whether you stay a few hours, it's not unusual to come to the Kent Narrows right. to have a meal, to have a gathering, yeah. to have a wedding, to have Ooh. a celebration, or a few days. We took an old pontoon boat uh, and we had stripped it down completely to the base and then we built it exactly like a house from the bottom up. You'll have a hard time finding a spot that doesn't give you a window looking out into paradise. And whether you're looking for the vibe of the islands? We like to say when you're at the Big Owl, you can be anywhere you want to be. Or you want to cast a line to catch the big one? Well, we tend to, to use the local uh, manufacturers in the local tackle that we use here on the bay. This 2.6 square mile tiny town separating Kent Island from mainland Delmarva is packed with big fun. So, what are you waiting for? Hop on board. We have a full hour of this Maryland treasure, Kent Narrows. Delmarva Live Small Town Series, Kent Narrows. So Lisa, I'm feeling a, a little deja vu-ish. Yeah? We've been here before, right? We sure have, Jimmy. It was earlier this summer when you, me, and Kate, wait a minute, where's Katie? Katie? Katie. Katie. Katie! Here I am, guys. Yeah, it's great to see you guys. I was just, uh, I was just, you know, you know me, I love to go for a nice boat ride with Captain Jody here. I know that last time I kind of just let him keep on taking me. So I will stop for you guys though. I'll get out. I'll do a little uh, more heavy lifting with the show here. So Jody, just pull right up. Oh, you are just perfect. All right, guys, you ready for me? Here she comes. She always has to make an entrance. Oh, yeah, she's good at it. <laughs> Jody was just giving me a <laughs> lovely tour of the Narrows, but I wasn't going to miss out. Well, well I'm glad. I'm glad you, glad you could be here yeah. with us. Yeah. Yeah. But let me let me ask you. You have yeah. been all over the Narrows as the locals. Oh call yeah. It. You've seen all kinds of things. Here. Yeah. All kinds of fun. And here's the deal. I really there's so much to it. Uh, as far as the best parts, I can't exactly narrow it down. Oh. But <laughs> so here's the deal. Come on over here. I'm gonna leave you guys for just a second so we can chat with. Gigi Winley, and Gigi is the executive director of the Ken Narrows Development Foundation. Great to see you here, Gigi. So happy you're here, Katie. <laughs> so you chose Ken Narrows as a place to call home. Yes. Tell me a little bit about why. Well, it's very evident when you look around the scenery, the water, the boats, the bridges, the seafood, the excellent places to go and visit, and also the fact that we're right uh, like a meeting place between the eastern shore and the western shore. So if you have friends, relatives that live mm -hmm. on the western shore, it's not unusual to come to the Kent Narrows right. if you live on the eastern shore to have a meal, to have a gathering, yeah. to have a wedding, to have Ooh. a celebration. Meet up. Uh, and just have uh, a great weekend or even spend the week here. Cool. So what's something that you would only know about Kent Narrows if you lived here? What do, the, what do the locals know that Weta wouldn't know? Did you know that there is a walkway under the Kent Narrows Bridge? No way! And you can walk from the north side of the Narrows to the south side of the Narrows. Wow. And How long would it take yeah. you, you think, to, like, to walk from one end to the other? Oh, it's about a minute. Oh, just a quick <laughs> minute. I you don't even that. have to cross the street. That is incredible. So it's it's a walkway, and uh, we think that that's going to really uh, just join things together yeah. when the new hotels and the restaurants yep. start to flourish here even more so. We have a pedestrian wayfinding yeah. system that is starting to be yeah. put in place, and so we're trying to make Kent Narrows more pedestrian friendly. You guys are busy. You guys are doing yes. a lot. 
Yes. Yeah. And we have all types of things going on. We promote the area. I'd mm -hmm. like to just say yeah. that this is the our newest project. This is the Kent Narrows Waterfront Official Travel Guide. That is and awesome. it has all of the information that you would ever want to know about Kent Narrows. It okay. has the fishing, the boating, the marinas, the the restaurants, the dock and dines, everything you need to know. Hotels. It's all right all there. Here. Well, do you mind if I snag that yeah, from you? And uh, this is going to be useful for us today. So thank you so much, sure. Gigi. And uh, this is going to be great. All right, let's head, let's head over back to uh, Jimmy and Lisa now. What do you guys think about this? Yeah. Everything yeah, yeah. we need to know right here. And I love this picture on the front. Yeah. Just nice. I got to admit, she had me at the walkway under the bridge. I know. I thought that was kind of cool. I do mm -hmm. love that, right? Yeah. Incredible. Okay, awesome. so uh, as we learned last time we were here, Ken Narrows is rooted in the seafood industry. Uh, the industry started setting up shop at Kent Narrows in the early 1900s. At one point, there were up to 14 seafood packing houses along this stretch of water. Oyster houses dominated the Narrows back then. After World War II, clamming was popular. When the Bay Bridge was built in 1952, restaurants started popping up in the Narrows. Fisherman's Inn was one of the first restaurants here, dating back into the 30s. So we're going to learn about some of the other Kent Narrows restaurants a little bit later on. Oh. And, and then maybe you would like to get out on the water and catch the big one yourself. I know you would, Jebby. Uh, the community has wonderful fishing charters for everything from youth summer fishing camps to, to trophy fishing outings. You can even explore Kent Island for some of the best kept fishing spots in the state. Fishing seasons on the Chesapeake Bay are spring, summer, and fall. Expert charter captains are ready for any of these seasons to help you get on the waves and find the best fish in the area. Yeah. Hook them. Hook them. Hook yeah. Gotta hook them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think hopefully we have these people hooked, right? Yeah. If you are watching from home, it's not hot. You, it does not going to take you long just to hop in the car less than a few hours and you will be here and you'll be able to enjoy everything this beautiful waterway has to offer. Yep, and we are getting ready to show you some of that ton of fun. Yeah, starting with a place where you can feel that island vibe. Doesn't that sound like fun? Steel drum music, fresh seafood, and sweet fruity drinks. You'll find that and more at the Big Al Tiki Bar where the sunsets are legendary. We'll even show you how you can get water view accommodations just a few steps away. Oh, but those are not the only delicious eats and beach vibes you'll find in Kent Narrows. We're also making a stop at the Jetty. It's award winning for the food, the signature cocktails and the atmosphere. And as Lisa has already mentioned, for those of us who would enjoy nothing more than today with a line in the water, there's short tackle and custom rods built for fishermen by fishermen. Uh, this place might be small, but it has everything you need to reel in the big one. And family traditions are strong here in Kent Narrows. That's the foundation for the Narrows restaurant. We get to hang out in the kitchen with the executive chef to see how they put together one of their signature dishes. Guys, that is a lot of fun to pack into one hour. Do you think we can actually pull this off? I think we can, but we have to get started right after the break. Delmarva Life Small Town Series, Kent Narrows. We'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. Better together, less duplication, more collaboration. The law offices of Tunnel and Razor, Spicer Brothers Construction, Gateway Subaru, and A and A Companies. The following segments in today's Delmarva Life Small Town Series are brought to you by the Kent Narrows Development Foundation. Airbnbs are pretty popular these days for vacationers. You can stay in the country, in the mountains, at the beach, or in a city. And in Kent Narrows, you can stay right on the water. This is the Castleway. It's in the heart of the Narrows. I'm actually on the rooftop, which is gorgeous, as you can see. Down below, you'll find accommodations that are spectacular. Kirby Schultz and his fiance took their life savings and put it into a houseboat. So we took an old pontoon boat it was, uh, and we had stripped it down completely to the base and then we built it exactly like a house from the bottom up. A whole new meaning to house flipping, complete with shiplap on the walls, vinyl flooring and a kitchen that checks all the home trend boxes. The layout of this thing, we spent many a days, many a nights in the cold, you know, November trying to figure out 
what the best way to work with this is. And the one thing that I was very adamant on was two queen beds in here. Those queen beds are in each of the bedrooms. The living and kitchen rooms look directly out onto the water. And because the boat is on a lift, it's not rocking with the waves. And if you get hungry... There's a big house. He's within a hundred feet away from us. The Big Al Tiki Bar is a dockside spot that has a tropical vibe. Some people compare it to the Caribbean, some people compare it to the Florida Keys. We like to say when you're at the Big Al, you can be anywhere you want to be. Al Wysong and his family took over the Big Al 15 years ago. The local watermen tell me this used to be a fuel dock and a bait and tackle shop. Each year we've added a little bit and a little bit on until it comes to this and 15 seasons later we have the Big Al. The latest addition to the Big Al Tiki Bar is the stage. It's a pontoon boat. And the food? All right, Al, what do we have here? It looks like some shrimp. What we have here is our Old Bay steamed shrimp Ooh. with sweet Vidalia onions. This is a recipe I borrowed from a friend of mine, Bobby Schock. She taught me how to do this years ago, and everyone loves the onions as well as they love the shrimp. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. All right. Oh, crab cake, another good one. Tell us me about that. This is a homemade crab cake, a recipe uh, made by my mom mm. and passed down only to my son. The only person she would give it to is my son. Not She's even no, you? Not even me. She's no oh. longer with us, but she passed it down to my son. Oh, okay. Well, I got to tell Jumbo you. Jumbo lump crab meat. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my. I'm gonna have to hit your son up for that recipe. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck that. with that, all right. I almost hate to move this over, but now we have. <gasps> Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Fish tacos. This is what many people think are our best item on the menu, and it's fish taco. That's a grouper filet, and the recipe has been perfected by my son, Ross, and he's oh. very proud of his fish tacos. Enjoy your grouper filet. Mm. Oh. Wait, <laughs> two thumbs up. <laughs> and now I hope you saved room for oh, dessert. Mm, mm. For dessert, we have from Key West our key lime pie. Ow. I always have room for dessert. I'm going in. Mm. You know what? <laughs> That is the best key lime I've ever had. <laughs> that is delicious. The Big Al Tiki Bar is also famous for its crushes. We've got a, a list of crushes, the orange crush being the favorite. Um, but the watermelon crush, the grapefruit crush, they're, uh, they're very popular as well. And the atmosphere is awesome. We light the tiki torches. When the sun sets, we blow a conch shelf that we got down in Key West. Um, we have music in, in five evenings out of the week, and it's a, it's a laid back atmosphere. It's very comfortable here in the evening. And then uh, everyone's out of here by 11. We're not late night. And Al says another favorite of his customers is to watch these work boats come in off the water with their catches of the day. They even like sitting up here on the deck with a drink and some food, watching them clean their fish. Del Marva Life Small Town Series Kent Narrows continues after the break. Modern vibes and majestic views, and that's only the beginning of a stay here at the Hilton Garden Inn on the Narrows. This hotel continues to charm folks from all over, so they keep coming back. Let's step inside now and see some of that magic for ourselves. Comfort meets chic at the Hilton Garden Inn on Kent Narrows. Impressive on the inside, but it's the outside that's outstanding. It's the view that pretty much sells the hotel. Look to the back, find the bay. Look to the side, see the slips. Do you ever get tired of looking at the view? No. <laughs> My office overlooks the view, so I get to see the boats come and go. I like to jump on a couple of them a couple times and go, but you know. <laughs> Jackie Collins has been the hotel's general manager for two years. She's been with Hilton for almost 20. This particular 
hotel stood out to me because it was a little smaller than what I'm used to, mm -hmm. but it was quaint mm -hmm. and comfortable and the people around here make it a pleasant place to work at as well as to come and visit. In fact, Jackie says the people who work here stand out to those who stay. We get a lot of comments about my staff, mm -hmm. how warm welcoming they were, how their hospitality just made them feel good. Mm -hmm. um, we always try to go above and beyond. If we know it's your anniversary, we're going to do something for your anniversary or your birthday. Or um, We've even done a few uh, wedding vow renewal mm -hmm. ceremonies here. Um, so I, that's probably our number one uh, comment is that our staff is great. Mike Whirl is one of those greats. He's the food and beverage director for the Garden Grill and Bar. He's the kind of guy you could sit down with for a second and suddenly you've been talking for an hour. I fell backwards into everything in my life. This is just my third career, that's all. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. I like working with people. Yeah. I really like it to meet a lot of interesting people. We get to talk and then just it pass the time. It's a nice way to make a living. The Garden Grill and Bar serves both breakfast and dinner, and the drink menu stands out. And we have a, a very well-appointed bar with um, a wonderful selection of bourbons and single malts, which our guests have requested. So we probably have one of the better bourbon bars on the Eastern Shore. We have carry over 45 bourbons. The bartender is a pretty nice guy sometimes. Yeah? So yeah, he's, he's, a, he's okay. It's me. When it comes to food, Mike says, for the most part, they serve a lighter fare. This right here is fried avocado. I can honestly say I've never had this before in my life. So I'm pretty excited to try it. Number one, it smells insanely amazing. Nice and crispy looking. We got some sauce going. It's got a little kick. Ooh, I like the crunch combined with the creamy avocado. That's delicious. Nobody counts me double dipping. Mmm. That is a, an insanely good appetizer. Divine dishes that can be enjoyed inside or out. And we're starting to get into the cooler nights, so we have, we have space heaters and everything. We'll keep everybody warm and happy, and the lights really make it pleasant out here. Okay. So it's a nice dining experience, and you're looking out over the water, so you can't beat it. Look out over the water from the rooms, too. This hotel has 90 rooms, 30 of which are bayfront suites. And the inside is sweet, too. We have four uh, what we call King Whirlpool rooms, which have the Whirlpool in the room. Those are quite popular now. Oftentimes, these rooms get booked up for the many weddings that happen here on the Narrows or for different meetings or events. We're pretty famous for the wedding blocks. Mm -hmm. Since we have so many weddings and venues uh, nearby, they always refer the wedding blocks to us. Mm -hmm. And also for corporate events, do that all in the area. We have a golf court nearby. Also, we have the marinas. As you see over here, we have a marina over here. So it's great for fishing trips, team building events, and so on. Danette Capo is the director of sales and marketing. She adds that it's also walking distance from just about everything. She says because of the hotel's size, she and the rest of the staff are really able to connect with those who come for a stay. You get to know each client and their needs and, uh, and, and, and even their stories. <laughs> it's more personal than being in, in the city. And no lie, they take care of every need even the seemingly silly ones. At midnight and you get hungry, you can come downstairs and we have um, everything from pizzas to ice cream to candy. We also have a pretty full service um, wine selection um, that we can serve up to two o'clock in the morning. So you don't have to physically go to the bar, you can just come down and grab a bottle. We give you glasses, you can go back up to your room. They'll give guests a sense of belonging, even just for a night because those who work at the Hilton Garden Inn know this hotel belongs right here. And I'll speak from experience and say, when you're inside this hotel, you can tell that the staff is a group of professionals who care about what they do and who they serve. And if you wanna book your stay, all you have to do is head to delmarvalife.com. We gotta get moving right now though. We are off to one of the state's top venues for live music. And they've got great grub there too. We are jetting off to the jetty on this Delmarva Life small town series, Kent Narrows. Stay with us.
Before the break, we were over there at the Hilton Garden Inn and it didn't take me long to get here at all. This is the Jetty Restaurant and Dock Bar. The locals know it and they love it. Not only is it a relaxing spot to get delicious dishes and drinks, it's also a top venue for live music year round. Laid back leisure at lofty levels. I think it's just relaxing to hear the water. You know, just to hear the water and uh, you know, see the, the seagulls and the ducks and, uh, you know, the, and hear the white sand and just to, to relax. I think it's just a nice relaxing atmosphere. Food filled with flavor that's never not fresh. Anything with crab, you know, crab cakes, uh, the Cayman's catch is another popular item, boom boom shrimp. You know, we do a California dip with uh, homemade guacamole with uh, extra large shrimp and jumbo lump crab meat. Steamed crabs, we get Maryland steamed crabs and uh, they're, they're a hit as well. Satisfying sips to sit back and savor. Orange Crush is our number one drink, we do about 60,000 a summer. Uh, that with the grapefruit crush and uh, you know, we have a signature menu, uh, a drink menu with some local beers that are made just that you, know, you can get here as well as uh, you know, any kind of pina coladas and frozen rum runners and all that fun stuff. Named after the wall connecting land to water, the Jetty Restaurant and Dock Bar has been a constant in the Kent Narrows community for almost 20 years. Mr. Kirstein and his wife Pam had purchased it in 2002 and we've been a team ever since. And, uh, you know, every year just try to get better. And, uh, you have, you know, like you said, the family atmosphere. A family atmosphere with a Caribbean feel. Palm trees? Check. White sand? Check. Chill vibes? Check. We have the, the beach area here that we're sitting at. We have the, the inside restaurant. We have the dock out there. Uh, that, uh, and the bar as well. So there's definitely a... Uh, place you can forget about your problems for a while, enjoy some, some great adult beverages and some great food as well. Justin Kiernan is the general manager at the Jetty. He's been working here since the beginning. If you can call it work. We have the best surrounding of the office view, this you know, thing called the Chesapeake Bay that uh, you know, separates us from a lot of other office jobs. So we, I mean, we have a great team too. Our staff's awesome. Uh, a lot of the staff's been here for you know 10 plus years. Uh, so they're just great and uh, they make the jetty what it is. What it is is also a top spot on the East Coast for entertainment. Justin says they offer live music Wednesday through Sunday and the crowds come. We call it controlled chaos. It's just, it's a fun time and uh, you know, I just love and Mr. Ronda as well. We just love seeing the, the people dancing and smiling and the uh, wait staff and bar staff just having a great time, you know, serving these customers and and enjoying uh, what the Kent Narrows has to offer. Justin's called Kent Narrows home for 38 years. He says it's the people that really make this place. Yeah, everyone's just like family around here. I mean, everyone really knows everyone and, uh, and just, uh, it's just a beautiful area. And those people are taken care of at the jetty. Mr. Ron always said, you know, you produce great food and uh, you do a great business and the customer is always the key to that component. Their menu is composed carefully and designed to delight. We sample, 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 and uh, we just make sure that we, you know, put the best product that we can put out there. Uh, we, you know, like I was saying earlier, we sample year round and make sure we're using great products and uh, make sure that we're doing it the right way and, and uh, you know, that you have good results. All right, we got a rocking table here to check out some of the bar favorites. We'll go with the Boom Boom Shrimp first. This looks insanely good, nice and saucy. A little spice in that Boom Boom. Mm. It's nice and breaded, but not too much bread. That is absolutely delicious, filled with flavor. Mmm. How about one of these bright beverages to wash it down? And that's not the only popular plate. Cayman's Catch is named after Ron, uh, the owner, and it's got uh, one of our five ounce jetty crab cakes. It's got a, uh, some salmon, uh, shrimp, boiled scallops, and uh, mashed potatoes and a vegetable of the day. This is the California dip. All right, I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on there. All right, there is shrimp, there's crab, there's avocado. So I'm just gonna try to get all three things with my chip here. All right, this could this could get wild. Oh, 
I'm dropping avocado. I'm trying to get this here. All right, here we go. Here we go, nobody worry. We're going for a big one. Oh, wow. I love the little hint of lemon that they add on there. Now I add it on there. The shrimp is very fresh. The crab is delicious and the chips are great. Avocado, great. This is a perfect little appetizer. Get you fired up and then get a nice meal. And rock. The jetty is open every day, year round. They'll bring folks to and fro on the party bus and they offer a weekend breakfast. The pandemic wasn't easy for them, but they learned resilience long ago when Hurricane Isabel tore through in 2003. Really just knocked us out of business. We were closed from September till June the following year, but I remember like it was yesterday, meeting with Ron and Pam, and I said, you know what, we'll, we'll rebuild, we'll make the jetty better than ever it was, and make it a, a destination, and sure enough, uh, here we are today and we are a destination. One that both customers and the crew completely adore. The Jetty is my life. I've been here for 20 years and I look forward to a lot more. And I'll tell you, just being here and watching people, you can tell they're enjoying themselves and they don't want to leave. And uh, neither do I. So I'm going to have Jimmy take it from here. Jimmy? Katie, that really sounds good, but I got something that sounds pretty good too. How about catching your own? Here in a minute, I want to introduce you to somebody here at Shore Tackle and Custom Rods who will make sure you have everything you need to do just that. Del Mar Life Small Town Series, Ken Narrows. Be back in just a second. You've probably heard me say on the show, I love fishing, I'm just no good at catching. Well, you know what, when it comes to Kent Narrows, you don't want it to be that way. I would like to introduce you to somebody. This is Bill O'Brien, the owner and founder of Shore Tackle and Custom Rods. How are you, Bill? I'm doing fine, thank you. Thank you for talking to us today. You have got a fascinating shop that we could just spend hours looking through. You were telling me about some of the tackle that you have here. Why is it so special? Well, we tend to, to use the local um, manufacturers in the local tackle that we use here on the bay and, and down in Ocean City as well for some of the tournaments. Um, you know, we focus on the small guys, the, the independents, um, and um, we, we tend to focus on that tackle as well. We have some of the bigger manufacturers also because we kind of have to, but we focus on a lot of local stuff. So I get the funny feeling that when it comes to your rod, the last thing you want to do is stop at a big box store and take something <laughs> off the shelf. You actually do custom work. That's correct. We custom, you know, that's our core business is building custom rods for a lot of the gentlemen around here as well as throughout the United States and the international community as well. Yeah, so, and you're really easy to find. You're here in the middle, middle of everything in Kent Narrows. Yeah, it's a great big parking lot. <laughs> so tell me the, about the man in the back that you got working so hard right now. That's Mark Lasso. He's a charter captain and works in here with me when he's not running charters. Um, he runs Tune of the Tide charters. But I have some part-time people that work with me. Um, they they kind of help out with just a small, you know, small local. Right. And, and, and it, I guess that's the thing. It's a small shop. You know everything that's in here. And if I don't know what I'm doing, which between us girls, Bill, I don't, <laughs> I can come to you and say, look, I'm wanting to go out and fish tuna. What can you do for me? Correct. We do a lot of... The boat setups for different um, different individuals and in, in some of the boat um, manufacturers around here, um, local on the island. When you purchase a boat from them, they put you with me, or I get with you and kind of go over what type of fishing you're going to be doing, and kind of get the boat set up the way that you would like it to to, right. to be. So, so you're telling me about the custom rods, and you're saying these are some custom rods that you've done. Correct. All these rods. That's pretty much what we carry here. Is just just our customs. We don't carry a whole lot of. Um, the big box manufacturers. Right. So let me ask you this question because you mentioned something earlier and, and it got my, my brain cranking. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me fishing mm -hmm. and I can still see the rod that he used when he took me fishing. Um, you do repairs. If I bring you an old rod, can you help me out with it? Sure, we do. Um, I do a bunch of restorations. I'm um, like the old bamboo rods. Um, as I was showing you, I have one in back from back in the early 1910, 1920, that means something to, um, to this individual. So I'm restoring it back to the way it was. But we do a lot of you know, rod repair, rear repair um, for, for the different people. So if I've got questions, you've got answers. I do, and if I can't <laughs> answer them, I have a whole network of rod builders up and down the East Coast and some 
of the West Coast also that we kind of um, bounce stuff off each other if we need some help. You've got the connections to make it happen. We do. Bill O'Brien, owner and founder of Short Tackle and Custom Rods, thank you for talking to us thank this you. afternoon. So you can't beat a deal like this if you're looking for a custom rod, if you need rod repairs, if you're looking for tackle from the local people, this is the place you'll find it. Stick around. Small Town Series, Kent Narrows, coming back in just a minute. Check out this view. This is what you'll see from the fourth floor of the Best Western here on the Narrows. And if you think that looks nice, just wait until sunset. And this tops the list of reasons why a stay here is a special one. We become a nice affordable place for people to come and stay for uh, the weekend and to get away. It was the first hotel ever constructed on Kent Narrows back in 1990. Certainly designed with this view in mind, General Manager Mark Lacoste says the exterior corridor has always been a hit. They can sit outside their room instead of uh, just looking out a window. They can, they can enjoy the beautiful sunset, the, the boats going by, and just enjoy the, the nightlife, see the traffic. And it, it gives a different uh, ambiance than being in a, a closed in, ex interior hotel. Inside the rooms, it's just as invigorating, especially those that are equipped with jacuzzis for ultimate relaxation. I think that would just gave it an extra touch with the hotels and, and something extra to sell. And with the weddings coming into town, it, it, we can upsell that to the bride and groom. We can do it for honeymoons. We can do it for anniversaries. It just gives it a little extra touch. And because Kent Narrows is known for being a wedding wonderland, this hotel is more than prepared to accommodate groups of all kinds. We offer the wedding blocks. We offer the group discounts. Uh, we offer, we do a lot of fishing charters in the summertime, so uh, we work a lot with the marinos. Uh, we, in the wintertime, we do a lot of uh, hunting rates, so we, we've got the people that are going goose hunting, deer hunting. Uh, so there's, there's, people think Ken Island uh, just falls off the map uh, after Labor Day, but uh, that's used to be the case, but not anymore. There's still a lot to do here. Mark's been working here for the last 21 years. He remembers driving past it on the way to Ocean City as a kid, and he kind of predicted the future. Yeah, we would joke the family would be in the car and we'd be coming across here and I would joke and say, one day I'm going to work at that hotel and here I am. <laughs> Certainly not a bad place to have an office. I like the water, being by the water, I can't, can't take it. I can't look at just buildings around me and skyscrapers. I, I need the water. He's got a need for water and most hotel guests have a need for food first thing in the morning. The Best Western Kent Narrows Inn comes through with that eye-opening, mouth-watering continental breakfast. A fan favorite every time. I think it's just that you get to have a lot of different uh, variety that you don't have at home. You get yogurt, you got the oatmeal, you got the make your own. Uh, some hotels have pancakes, we have waffles. Uh, you've got everything just there for you and you just come down in the morning and grab your plate, fill it up. They're constantly renovating and upgrading the hotel to give guests a more than memorable experience. Just recently, they added 49 inch flat screens. How's that for a late night movie? We like to differentiate ourselves with that. We say, oh, where can you get, you know, we got the biggest TV on Ken Island, you know? <laughs> so. They've also got a sauna, a hot tub, and an indoor pool for year round chill vibes. That helps in the wintertime when everybody else is shut down with their pools, our pool is still open. And there's ample green acreage around the hotel, and Mark's got dreams for that. I always want to put a volleyball court out there. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. So, I'll get that on TV so that maybe it'll have to happen. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Mark adds they also have adjoining rooms, which are a great option for families. Stick around, Del Marva Life's Small Town Series, Kent Narrows, will be right back. It's a scene that can calm the soul. The work boats plying the waters of Kent Narrows among the flocks of shorebirds. And listen, when these guys bring in their catch and cull it, it's not too far away from your plate. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, there are plenty of contemporary and traditional restaurants that line the Narrows, each with a view second to none. And you can actually see one of them over our shoulder here. For nearly 40 years, the Narrows restaurant has brought fresh seafood and time-tested dishes to tables that boast those majestic views. Like many spots along the water in Kent Narrows, the Narrows restaurant site is living a second life. My dad opened it in 1983. Um, his name's Bo Hardesty. 
He was a restaurant tour in downtown Annapolis in the, er, the late 60s. Kelly Phipps says her father built the restaurant on the land that was once home to an old shucking house. He decided that this was the perfect place for a restaurant with the view and um, he built it and we opened in November of 83. And since then, the Narrows has served up consistently good food that Kelly describes as their own take on Eastern Shore fare. And I'm in the kitchen here with Matt Coe. He, he is the chef, and one of your signature dishes you're going to make for us right here, it is the... Seafood chipino. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Let's get started. Oh, you got to make sure you got a nice hot pan nice first. Nice hot pan, yep. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with a few mussels. Some shrimp. Lots of seafood. And some fresh fish pieces. So to, right now we have uh, plenty of fresh salmon, swordfish, mm -hmm. and halibut. Okay. Um, so we're going to start off with uh, Just throw that in there. Dropping those in there. Yeah. Going to hit it with a little bit of white wine. Ooh, up. there. <laughs> what you got a there? A little bit of uh, clam stock. Ah, oh, it smells good already. And some diced tomatoes. Now this is obviously something that cooks up pretty quickly. Uh, it takes a few minutes to cook down. You have to make, yep. to make sure all the seafood is cooked properly and mm -hmm. everything's heated all the way through. And, it, and the mussels will open up. Mussels will open up. That will give you an inkling that they're approaching being finished. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a little bit of a Cajun blend spice that we use. Cajun? Some herbs. Some green there. Throw in some julienne peppers. Now, how many of these do you make a night? About. Uh, a day? It, it all depends on the uh, on the on the clientele that come in. Yeah. Uh, it could be three or four. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday night, I think we had twelve of these going at one time. Oh my which goodness! Which takes up pretty much the entire uh, saute station. <laughs> I bet. I bet. So. And it looks like they're cooking up real nice. Really. And then you got a little, what is that, a lobster? And, and, with, and with, the, with the dinner portion, you get a, about a seven to eight ounce whole lobster tail. Oh my goodness. Goes in there. That is amazing. I'm going to put a lid on that and let that uh, kind of steep a little bit. Matt added seasonings, peppers, and a lobster tail and let everything cook down. We're going to add a little bit of uh, spinach to it, a little extra green pop. It's, it's smells good. It looks good. And you have some angel hair pasta there all ready to go? Yep, I'm going to pull the lobster to the side while we plate this up. I can't imagine trying to have 12 of these going on at once. <laughs> it takes it's, a little uh, practice. It can, be, it can be a little hectic. Yeah. And then we'll come over here and plate off some of the mussels. Top it off. Finish it off with a couple shrimp. of the shrimp that just cooked down in there. And, and uh, lobster. Lobster too. And that is the seafood. This is our seafood chipino. Chipino. So I guess all that's left is what? Taste. So I already had my dessert. That's about it. Yep. So now I'm going to. Help yourself. It is very hot. It is very hot. You know what? So you don't burn yourself. That's okay. I'm just going to go in. Get me a piece of this fish here. Mmm. Yeah. Hot and delicious. And for dessert, the Narrows serves up a delicious mousse in a bag. The bag is made of chocolate, and it all tastes so good. Oh my goodness. That's heaven in a bag. And get this, you can have their famous crab cakes shipped anywhere in the United States overnight. And as for the future, Kelly says their next big project is outdoor dining. Wow, that's going to be great. Stick around. Delmarva Life Small Town Series, Kent Narrows, will be right back. You know, guys, I could get kind of kind of used to this hanging out in, in Kent Narrows. No kidding. You know, I learned so much 
uh, about a custom rod and how if you have the right rod, you're going to catch the right fish. Exactly. And I ate a lot of things. <laughs> and I learned that I liked all the things that I ate. <laughs> it was a good day. Shout out to the Jenny. It was a Woo! good day. Listen, if you want to find out more about all the things that you've seen on today's show, go to DelmarvaLife.com. Or you can just hop on Route 50 and drive to Kent Narrows. Stop at the Visitor Center and get you a copy of this book right here, Kent Narrows Waterfront. All the information you need is right there. That's right, and she mentioned the drive. Here's how you get here. Okay, you get on Route 50 West, you keep going, <laughs> and then if you hit the Bay Bridge, you went too far. <laughs> Turn around, come back, we're right here. Turn around, come oh, back. Oh, and by the way, boat. we want to say thank you to Jody Schultz Woo! for being our chauffeur today. Jody! Captain Jody, you are the man. Okay, so, you guys ready? I'm I am ready. so ready. Captain, you ready? Ready. Let's go. Woo!